Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video I want to give you an introduction about the strategy of how to fly with the FES system. The FES electric propulsion system is used since some years in a reasonable number of gliders. Mostly it is used as a sustainer so to keep the glider in the air once you are airborne. However, there are some type of aircraft which are even capable to do a self-launch with it. In this video I use the FES system in a Silent 2 Electro which is one of the self-launchers. Before we begin I would like to give a brief overview of this system to viewers who are maybe not familiar with it. FES stands for Front Electric Sustainer or Self-Launcher. It consists of a pair of battery packs which are located in the fuselage of the glider behind the pilot. The standard capacity of the 28 lithium polymer cells connected in serial is 4.2 kilowatt hours, which is enough for about one hour of horizontal flight. Cables are running from the batteries to a motor controller and further to a nose mounted 22 kilowatts engine. This directly drives a foldable propeller with a diameter of 1 meter, depending on the type of glider. With activation of the motor, the blades extract automatically and forward thrust is immediately available. This is probably the biggest advantage of the system. Upon switching off the engine, the propeller stops, the blades fold to the fuselage because of the airflow and after a short while the system brings them automatically in the horizontal parking position. The system is controlled by the pilot via the FCU, the phase control unit. All relevant parameters are shown on this instrument. Switching on and off as well as controlling the speed of the engine is easily done via a single rotary knob. So now I'm at the takeoff position. The strategy is to catch the thermals from a very low altitude, so often only 200 meters and then climb up with the running engine and with the thermal. You can switch off the FES system very easily, it, it stops within a second and if you need the engine again, it's here in fractions of a second. Ok, so to sum it up, the strategy is to look for thermals in a low power flight. As soon as you feel some lift, begin to circle. If the lift is solid, switch off the engine. If not, simply switch it on again. By the way, this is the same strategy like the birds do. Use as little as necessary energy and continue with thermals. At the end you will have enough capacity left to get home using the engine. Again by executing an energy efficient horizontal flight. In very most cases you will have more than enough endurance left. So let's get right up into the air and try it out. In a safe altitude I reduced the speed of the engine from full power to about 3800 rounds per minute. This leads to a reduction in current from 185 amps to about 120. With this setting the endurance is increased and I continue with a climb of approximately 1.5 meters per second. The indicated 2 meters per second climb on the barometer is more than the average 1.5 meters per second. I assume here is some lift to find. I begin to circle, often in only about 200 meters above ground level. So let's switch off the engine and try to gain altitude in the thermal. The propeller stops in a random position, the blades fold to the fuselage through the airflow and the system turns them automatically in the horizontal parking position. Ok, now we try to find a thermal, we are now about uh, 200 meters above ground level. If it turns out that the lift was not solid, no problem, just switch on the engine again, it starts immediately. Ok, let's use the engine another time. Go and find another lift, again with the moderate power setting for energy saving.
Now this one seems to be solid, let's switch off the engine again. The propeller stops immediately and the pilot can fully concentrate on flying. Yeah, the engine is turning the propeller in the horizontal position, so no action is required. And now we are in the thermal in the first. Furthermore, there is no change in pitch trim as it would be the case with a retractable engine. That's it. So that brings us into the air. Of course, the, diff the strategy is different. Like when flying with a combustion engine, where you climb up at uh, 500, 600 or even 1000 meters. But uh, what I wanted to show you is that you cannot compare the altitude which you can gain with this electrical engine to the altitude of a combustion engine. You are much more agile with the electrical system because you can turn it on and off how you like. So as you can see the system is very easy to operate, very relaxed, just to turn the knob, that's it. Nevertheless, don't fly too dangerous. Never rely only on the on the engine. Always have a plan B. It never happened to me that the engine was not starting when I, I needed it, but you never know. So with the remaining 70% of capacity, I have uh, about the range of yeah, 60 to 70 kilometers for sure when flying at a speed of uh, 100 kph. Remember, it is most energy efficient with an FES system when flying horizontally. So if you need to get home using electrical power, do it in a level flight. Yeah, there is one more thing I want to mention. And as with every battery powered device, the power is with full batteries the best of course. So this is the reason why the manufacturer says for a self-launch only do it with uh, full, fully charged batteries. The less capacity you have left, the less uh, power brings the engine. The last 30% of the batteries is only for horizontal flights, so you do not get any, any climb break even if you, if you uh, switch on full power. And if you want to see what can be done with a phase equipped guider, I would recommend that you watch this video next. I hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, I would be happy if you leave me a comment in the section below and or subscribe to my channel of course. Have a nice day and uh, goodbye.